Diving deep. Understanding in over one's depth. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, in over one's depth. This expression is rich in imagery and meaning, and understanding it can add depth to your English communication. So, let's embark on this linguistic journey together and explore the depths of this intriguing phrase. In over one's depth, refers to a situation where someone is out of their comfort zone or dealing with tasks or situations that are beyond their capabilities or experience. Originally linked to the physical experience of being in water too deep, where one cannot stand or feel secure, this phrase now broadly symbolizes being overwhelmed or outmatched in various aspects of life. The origins of, in over one's depth, can be traced back to the literal experience of finding oneself in water that is too deep, leading to feelings of panic or insecurity. Over time, this expression has been adapted to describe any scenario where an individual feels overwhelmed by the complexity, difficulty, or unfamiliarity of a situation. In everyday usage, it's commonly applied in professional, academic, and personal contexts. Whether it's tackling a new job role, facing academic challenges, or navigating complex personal relationships, in over one's depth, captures the essence of feeling not quite prepared or skilled enough. To better grasp how to use, in over one's depth, let's look at some examples. Professional context. When Julia was promoted to manager, she initially felt in over her depth dealing with responsibilities she hadn't faced before. Academic context. Taking an advanced calculus class without the prerequisites, Mark quickly realized he was in over his depth. Personal context. Trying to fix the plumbing without any prior experience, I was definitely in over my depth. These examples showcase how the phrase can be applied to various situations, highlighting feelings of being overwhelmed or underprepared. Exploring related phrases can help enrich your understanding and use of English. Similar expressions include, out of one's league, indicates that something or someone is too challenging or advanced for one's current abilities or status. Biting off more than one can chew, taking on tasks or commitments that are too large or difficult to manage. Feeling out of one's element, feeling uncomfortable or unfamiliar in a particular situation or environment. Understanding these phrases alongside, in over one's depth, can enhance your ability to express nuances of feeling overwhelmed or challenged. We hope this deep dive into the phrase, in over one's depth, has been enlightening and will help you navigate the vast ocean of English language with more confidence. Remember, feeling in over your depth at times is a natural part of learning and growth. Embrace these moments, as they're stepping stones to becoming more adept and comfortable in any situation. Until our next linguistic adventure, keep exploring the depths of the English language.